Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create your first Java plugin for Minecraft using the Bucket API and this is just one of my plugins, uh, Joomi, which is online on GitHub if you want to check that out. Um, I'm going to create a new project, this can be a normal Java one, we won't use Maven for the first video, I will we'll use it the second video and I'll explain why, we, why I use it in the first place. Okay, so we'll go to the um, YouTube, it's down here, YouTube videos, or YouTube plugins, okay, and we need to make sure it creates the project inside in this folder, I'll call it first plugin, so first plugin, be the same in this, first plugin, so I'm not going to go through how to install the JDK or install um, uh, IntelliJ, it's very simple to do. Like once you have the JDK installed, you just click new JDK and you'll select the directory to where it is. All you need to go to is to the um, the version of Java, the JDK. All you need to go is to this folder, you don't need to go to the bin. You just need to go to there and click OK. And it'll set it up for the project SDK. That's for the standard um, Java JDK 1.7 standard edition. We're not using Enterprise. We're using the standard edition JDK. It'll say now that the directory does not exist. It'll be created by IntelliJ. We click OK. So that just means it's going to create the directory inside it. Don't um, click anything in that groovy stuff. Just click Finish and then click this window, which means it'll open up the project in this window. <coughs> So the first thing we're going to do is to go into the source and we're going to create a new package. You can call this whatever you like, but uh, I'm going to call it, uh, it's usually your website, so com.ts, community.ts, frank, it's usually in reverse order to what it is, and we're going to call it the first plugin. And you'll see what happens when I create this, so in source there's nothing in there. This is all our Java stuff we're going to. So if I click OK, I create the package, and then you'll see it here. Come that is community that is Frank the first plugin, right? And the next thing we need to do is to we need to create our first class. Oops, new Java class and first. Plugin. You don't need to put in that Java, it'll automatically do that for us. And we'll go on the internet now and us we need to download the latest bucket jar development build. <coughs> so if I type in bucket dev build should get it by just searching for that in Google. Whenever the internet decides to show, right? So, what's that? I am uh, right. So, source. I'm gonna create a new file, and we're gonna call it plugin. Why am I? Inside here <coughs> is going to be where we every plugin when it's loaded, everyone has to have a plugin. Why am So we're going to say. The name of the plugin, which is first plugin, um, version. You can put. You don't. It doesn't matter what order these goes in, as long as you um, as long as you include them. Description, D S C. Um, description is also optional. So description, my first plugin, I suppose. My first plugin, and you put in the author. You don't have to put this in either. Now, main is where our our main class for our plugin is going to go. So this is the class that will extend Java plugin. But the reason why it is shown up for an error is because it doesn't know what Java plugin is, that's why we have to download the development build of craft yeah, there we go, it worked. So um so it's I'll put the links in the description so we'll download the latest development build. 
save file. Now, ideally, you'd put this in a folder so you don't lose it. And see the way that all the development builds like that. Like you'd have to download all the newest ones. So that's the reason why I, we use Maven is because you put in what version you want to use and it'll automatically go download it. And you don't have to download the jar manually, but we'll show you that in the next video. We'll just show you how to create a plugin now by using this jar file. <coughs> so I just double clicked on the jar file and tried to run it right. So we're going to go to the module settings. And we're going to go to libraries. These are just extra libraries that we're going to add. So like if you've got other dependencies, let's say if you use Vault, if you use, I don't know, Essentials, if you use other, whatever other plugins or whatever. Might be my downloads, wouldn't it? And then if I go down to, okay, there it is there. So Mocha 1.7.2. And I click OK. And I click OK again. Right, so if we extend Java plugin, you'll see, well, well now it's a uh, indexing. So it cannot resolve. So if we press Alt and Enter, well, I'll just show you why I'm pressing Alt and Enter here in a sec. Let me just click on this little arrow. See, import class. You can also press Alt and Enter, that'll bring up this as well. So if I do Alt and Enter, import class, that will come up. So I'll import the class, you see. Before that wouldn't happen because we didn't have that jar file which contains all those classes, which includes Java plugin. And I'll show you where um, Java plugin is actually coming from. So if we scroll down, this is the API docs for um, Bucket. You'll see that this is the class that we're extending and these are all the methods that are available to us. So the ones that we're going to be messing with will be these two here which is called when the plugin is enabled and called when it's disabled. So every plugin will have to have that. So if we override the stuff that's in that class and we're going to do public void enable public void on. I should also miss on disable. And override. So this is just our first plugin, and what our objective is to actually get it to load. We don't want to do anything else. So I'm just going to say get logger dot info login works. This is very simple, or we could just say hello world or whatever we want. That's what usually what you do if you're um. So you need to put in main here, which would be our package name. So com dot community as frank dot first plugin dot first plugin. Now this is the path to our main class. So like say if you multiple classes, it's the class that extends Java plugin is what you have to put in here. So you have to put in your package name which will bring you to here and then this will bring you to the name of the class. You don't need to put in dot Java in there because it does not matter. So the next thing we need to do is to actually create an output jar file from this. So we're going to go to artifacts, plus jar, from module with dependencies, extract the target jar. Click OK. And extracted bucket 1.7.2. You don't want to include that jar in your plugin, so click the minus to remove that. And then click build on make. And what we do then is we're going to put it in our development server in our plugins folder. So I click OK to that. And what we're going to do now is the plugin is ready to go. So all we do is click on build make project. You can also press Control F9. That's what I'm, I always do. I don't even click build make project. I just automatically hit Control F9. So we'll make it now. It'll create the jar file and I'll put it to in here called, you'll see it now in a sec. Still making it, parsing Java. And it's done. So it's called first plugin. So let's press F. There it is there. First plugin. So let's see, will it load it? 
so we're going to run our craft bucket server but this one is spigot you can use um, craft bucket as well because spigot is based on craft bucket but I used it on my servers and everything so I'll wait now and see will it load it hopefully it will because um, let me have a look now and just see I think it might have see if it packaged it correctly so first plug in if I open this with um, No, uh, no, 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 no. If I open this with um, WinRAR, you'll be able to see what's actually in here. Okay. It concludes the plugin at YML, so we're fine. And this is my first time actually doing this with um, the old fashioned way. I used to do this with um, Eclipse, but it's the first time I've done it with IntelliJ because I've always used Maven because it's so much easier to use. So if I do PL for plugin, you'll see where his first plugin is there. It's just loaded it. And if we go to first plugin, there it is. There, so it says first plugin enabling. It always does that, and even when it's disabling, it always says that. Well, you can see here, plugin works. So it loaded our plugin, and that's completely perfect. Because sometimes when you create a jar file, and one of the most common mistakes is to get your your main direct your main directory wrong. So say I did first plugin like that, and I didn't include the capital letter. And if I compile that, I'm pressing Control F9 or Build Mac Project. See, it's done. And if I reload the server, you'll see we'll get an error. There we go. See, um, class not found exception, which means that it cannot find the the class um, first plugin that it was actually. Um, see, it says here, Comdoc TS Community TS find the first plugin. The first plugin. You might think that that is correct, but since we use a capital P in our plugin, that you must do that when you're doing the path. As the most common mistake is you get a class not found exception when you're making um making it in a plugin. And it's the first thing that actually happened to me. I had problems with that loading it when I first made my first plugin over a year ago. So hopefully this will uh, help you to understand to make a plug in a little bit easier. The next one I'll be using Maven and I don't know, we'll see if we use commands in it or whatever. So if you want to have a specific section for me to go through with plugins, then you can leave a uh, comment in the description and let me know. Thanks guys for watching. Goodbye.